Hello, how is everybody today? Time to look at Thunderbolt's bottom upgrades. If you haven't checked out my other video, where I look at his top path, go check it out. We are about to look at his bottom path. Which, I guarantee you, most likely, will be my favorite path. But we will see. For more detail on the basic upgrades, check out the other path guide. We're going to breeze through them relatively quickly here without much fanfare. Power blast. Ready for an Superstore. Ready for another So glad Persephone's back. How about you? Superstore! Ready for another? Alright, let's look at the bottom path. See what it does. Power blast! The wind is at my back. The top path for Thunderbolt is pretty much just combos. XXB, XXY, X, I can't say X. XXY, X, X, X. That is the top path in a nutshell. We are here to look at the bottom path. Ready for another I really need a drink of water. My mouth today. is full of saliva something I can't talk alright lightning attacks do increase damage and have increased range Superstore. So 79. Yeah. So what's nice about the lightning is it comes off from a sword. So you can get someone that's really far away. Cool. And I approve of the 79 damage. Yes. So this is just going to charge the clouds up more. Let me show you. So you can already charge them up like that. They just randomly shoot out lightning and do damage. So this should just do more damage. If I'm reading correctly. Power blast! That's pretty darn good. 112. Ready for another? Storm clouds can be overcharged with lightning and explode for maximum damage. So let me try to do that once. Power blast! I believe that did 220. Something like that. Yep. 336 was the critical number, but I think it was around 220. Ready for another and for probably the lamest soul gem in all of Skylands. For reasons I explained in the other upgrade path video. Superstore! Anytime. Guys, the limit. 
There's an upgrade where you have to hold one button and press another button, especially when X and B aren't even next to each other, I simply will not use. So I will not use it, but I'll show it to you right now. I know when one of... Not one of was, and when W Drums was doing his path guide, he couldn't get this move to work. But there it is. One thing I just realized, it does do more damage on the bottom path because all the lightning attacks do extra damage. So, a little bit of a bonus, but like I said, I won't be using it much at all. <clears throat> I need a drink! Somebody give me a drink! Or I'll talk like this! This is easier on my throat! So you said... Just a few moments of gameplay, so you can see the clouds in action, and we shall wrap it up. A storm is coming. Rock, take it over. Yep, I like this path more. I'll tell you why when it's over. Part of the reason I like this path better has something to do with the chill bills you just saw. I didn't know you could do that. Get the clouds going around the tornado. That's pretty darn cool. First, I thought you might be some kind of punk or something, but now I see you are. Let me go. I want to go back and see if I can do that with three clouds. 
I was playing the level, I could only do it with two. So let's get these clouds out here. That's pretty darn cool. That's like a killer storm. And the cool thing about doing it this way is when you swirl when he swirls around, he's charging the cloud so you don't have to hit him with the sword again. Simply getting the tornado out charges the clouds. Pretty darn cool. That is Thunderbolt's bottom path. We will talk about my favorite path in the next video. The thing about Chill Bill, I didn't tell you yet. When he was being frozen by Chill Bill, the clouds killed Chill Bill for me. When I was frozen in time in the top upgrade path, that would not happen. I like him. like him better than I thought I would. I know he's one of the more popular Trap Masters, especially because he's new. Like I said, when I played Twitch, I got a request to play him specifically. Have a great day. We'll see you in a video very soon. Adios.